Hey everyone, my name is Sandeep and in this video, I will be showing you how to solve lead code problem 1371 longest substring containing vowels in even counts. So the problem statement is like this, you are given a string and you need to find the length of the longest substring where each vowel has occurred even number of times and the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So let's see some examples before we move ahead. So the first example is you are given a string B, C, B, C, B, C. So let's see what is the length of the longest uh, substring here which has occurred even number of times. So if you see the entire string here, all are consonants and the vowels have occurred zero number of times. So that means this is obviously the largest possible length that we can achieve. So the output for this problem will be six because that's the largest length that we can achieve. Let's see another example. The string given to us is lead code is great. So let's see the, what is the length of the longest substring that we can form where each vowel has occurred even number of times. So if you take this particular substring L W -E T C here we see that the only vowels is E which has occurred even number of times that is two times rest all are consonants. So obviously we can take this substring and this is actually the largest possible substring that we can take and hence the output for this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that is 5. So, so that is the optimal solution here. If you take any other substring which is of larger length then definitely that won't contain uh, the vowels even number of times and hence this is the best answer that we can achieve here. Let's see the third example. Here we are given the string E L W -E T M I N I C O W O R O E P. In this string if you take this particular substring from here till this particular R. So the length of this will be 13 and all the vowels in this range have occurred even number of times. If you try to take a larger substring of basically of larger length than this, then it won't contain all the vowels even number of times and hence this is the optimal answer here. So the constraints is that the length of the string can be up till half a million and the brute force approach for this problem will be you iterate over each possible substring and you count how many times each vowel has occurred. So that will be quadratic in nature and we need to find a solution which is linear basically. So pause the video if you want to think of a solution here and then let's move ahead. So the first observation here is that we do not need to know the exact count of a vowel. Why? Let's see. For this example, when we are calculating for this particular substring, do we need to know how many times this particular vowel E has occurred? Whether E has occurred six times, eight times or five times? No. The point here is we only need the information whether E has occurred even number of times or odd number of times. That means the only information that we need is whether in a particular substring the vowel has occurred even times or odd times. So we just need a flag denoting whether the vowel has occurred even times or odd times. That is basically a binary state 0 or 1. 0 means it has occurred e even number of times. 1 means it has occurred odd number of times. So that gives us the intuition that this problem can be solved using bit masks. But let's see how many possible states are there and then only we can determine whether it can be solved or not using bit mask. So vowels that we have are a, E, I, O, U. And what are the possible states? Each vowel can, uh, can be either occurring even odd number of times or even number of times. Yeah. So for each vowel, we have two states. Either it can occur odd number of times or even number of times. Same goes for E, same goes for I, same goes for U, same goes for O as well. So for all the vowels, it can occur either odd number of times or even number of times. So what are the total states? So the total states are nothing but the multiplication of all these because all these all these states are independent of each other. So it will be 2 cross 2 cross 2. Correct. So that will be 2 to the power 5. So we have 32 possible states. Correct. So this is pretty less and hence we can use bit masks to represent these states and we can solve this problem using bit masks. There is one more concept involved before moving ahead. You should definitely know the properties of ZOR. The concept is 0 ZORD with A is always A. If you ZOR a particular element with itself, it will be 0. That means any element if you ZOR even number of times, it will be 0. So again, if you ZOR A ZOR A, this particular value will be 0 from the above and 0 ZOR A is A. So we can simply say 0 ZOR A will be A. Similarly, again, if we do one more element here, so it will be 0 again. So the property of ZOR is if you, if you ZOR an element even number of times, it will be 0 only. And if you 
Zorin element with zero, it will be the element itself. So these two properties should be known to you before moving ahead. Now let's solve this particular example and I will show you how we can, this problem can be solved using bitmaps. Okay, so here we have the third example, E L W T M I N I C O W O R O E P and we will fill all these columns with the bitmaps values. So initially we keep our bitmaps value as zero, why? Because when all the, when the bitmaps value is zero, all the bits are zero. That means all the vowels have occurred even number of times. And so that's, that's what we initialize it with, that at the beginning of the string, uh, when there is nothing, we initialize it with mask zero. And since we only care about the vowels, uh, whether they have occurred even number of times or odd number of times, so for only for vowels, we will take their character itself here for calculation. For consonants, we will simply take the value as zero because we don't care about the consonants. That's the second assumption here. So let's keep these values, fill these values one by one. So at index zero, we have the value as E, which is a vowel. So we'll take the character value, which is E. And what was the previous bit mass value? The previous bit mass value was zero itself. So what do we get? Zero zord with E. Now, by the properties of zord, we know that zero zord with any element is the element itself. So what is the value here? The value here is E. Have you seen this E before? No, yet not yet. Let's move ahead. At index one, we have the character as L, which is a consonant. So that means the value of this will be zero. We don't care about it because it's a, not a vowel. What was the previous bit mass value? It was E. So let's take Zor of these two. We get E again. What does that mean? So when we get the same bit mask again, here, as seen here, between two positions, that means all the characters that have occurred after these positions had vowels occurring even number of times, which can be either zero, either two, either four. We don't care, but they have come even number of times. Why? Because we know that when an element zord with itself is zero. So any element zord even number of times makes itself zero. So when these two bits masks are same, that means all the elements that have come after this, all the vowels, they have canceled themselves. That, that means they have occurred even number of times. And hence, we are not seeing those values being changed here. That's why we are seeing the same bit mask in the, both these positions. So what was the what was the length here? So the characters that have come after this index. So this particular length. So we have the length as one minus zero, which is one itself. So the best answer that we have is till now here is length of one. That means L itself. This was the string which, which had all the vowels occurring even number of times. Correct. So let's see, let's see as we move ahead. So we have at index two a vowel again. So what, what will be the value for this? It will be E itself. And what was the previous value of bit mask? It was E. So E is odd E with E itself. So what do we get? A zero. So now, have you seen this value zero before? Yes, we have seen this. We have seen it here. That means all the position, all the values that have come after this, which is in this range, had vowels occurring even number of times. And that's why the masks are same. Why? Because again, why? The, because as we know, an element sort with itself is zero. So that's why all the elements that have come after it have actually canceled themselves because they've occurred even number of times, uh, basically for the vowels. And for the consonants, we have taken them as zero. So we don't care about them. So what is the best length that we have here? It's now actually two minus, minus one, which is, which is actually three. So the best length that we can make is three, which is this entire length where E has occurred even number of times, as you can see here. And E's odd E is zero and we do not care about L. So that's why the masks are same. Let's move ahead. The index position is three and we have the character E here. So what was the value? Because E is a vowel, so we will take E itself. And what was the previous vowel of bit mask? It was zero. Zero sort with E is E itself. What was the first time when we had seen E? Have we seen E? We have seen E here. So that means for this entire length, we know all the characters occurring after this position had the vowels occurring even number of times because they have cancelled themselves and for the consonants we have taken them as zero so hence we definitely know that in this range all the vowels have occurred even number of times so what was the length three minus zero so let's see three minus zero is three so that means l double e was our best answer but we already have the best length as three so we do not change that let's move ahead we are at index i equals four and we see that the character is a consonant. So we simply take the value as zero and what are the previous bit mass value? It was E. So we have E is odd with zero. So what do we get? We get an E again. So have you seen this E before? Yes. What was the first position? So it was this. So that means 
all the values that have occurred after this position have occurred even number of times in terms of vowels so for the vowels was this range so vowels have covered even number of times that is this was e so e has occurred even number of times in this range as you can see and it has cancelled itself hence the mask is same between these two positions so uh, what was the best length here so 4 minus we have 0 so we have 4 minus 0 and the value is 4 and it's better than our current answer so we'll take it as 4 let's move ahead we have again a uh, consonant so it will be 0 again and the previous mask value was 0 our previous mask value was e so we have e again and again the best answer will increase by one length more because we have this range so we will have here 5 minus 0 which is 5 and the best answer is 5 here again let's move ahead we have now we have a vowel i so what will the mask value for value for i will be i itself because i have taken for vowels the same character and the previous bit mask value was e so we have e's or i here have we seen this value before no we have not seen it yet let's move ahead now we have a consonant which is the value will be zero so we have taken zero for it and what are the previous uh, bit mask value it is e zord with i and zord with and we will zord it with the current element so what do we get let me expand it a bit we will have it as e zor i zor with the current elements value will be zero because it is a consonant so what will be it it will be e zor with i have we seen this element before yes this range we have seen it here so that means this range all the elements after occurring after this have vowels occurring even number of times so in this range it is n itself because there are no vowels, that is i has occurred zero number of times or e has occurred zero number of times here so here all the vowels have occurred zero number of times so which, which is simply nothing but let's take this range it's nothing but seven minus six which is length of one so which are again smaller than our current maximum length let's move ahead here what do we get we again get a vowel so what we will have the value here as i and what will we zor it with zor was zor of the previous bit mass was e zor i so you have e zor i so this i and this i cancels because they have occurred even number of times and we have this e here now what do you see this e already had occurred here that means all the elements in this range from here let me use another marker so all the elements in this range from so yeah this was the e so from this range till this range have occurred even number of times and that's why we have the same mask that means all the vowels in this range have occurred even number of times because for the consonants we have taken them as zero and for the vowels we have taken the same character itself so because we are getting the same mask that means all the vowels have occurred even number of times and hence they have cancelled each other so hence we have got the same mask so what is this length nothing but 8 minus 0 which is 8 so the best answer will be 8 minus 0 which is 8 here and this is the maximum length here right now till now what we have similarly we can fill the rest of the values and we can achieve the best length here that is possible so let me quickly fill that so i have c here which is a consonant so it will be e is or with c is 0 it will be e again this will be e is odd with o okay this will be uh, w is a consonant so it will be again the previous value e is odd 0 sorry o this is again an O, so we will have E zord O zord O, which is E itself because this has occurred even number of times. This will be again E because R is a consonant. This will be again E zord with an O. This will be E zord O zord with E again. So this will cancel. It will be O again, and this will be O zord with P. Yeah. So if I see, this is the best answer that I have got. Uh, this is E simply. So when we had E first time this was e so this entire length from here till the position we got so here so all these characters would in all these characters all the vowels would have occurred even number of times and what will the length and this is 9 10 11 12 13 yeah so 13 minus 0 is simply 13 so that's the range because this was e yeah so that's the best answer that we have got uh, so here i have the pseudocode for the problem 
So all these vowels, I have represented them with certain numbers like 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16 because obviously when we when we have bit masks and we are zoring them, we cannot zor with characters, we have to zor with certain numbers. So that's why I have represented each of these characters, each of these vowels actually with certain numbers. For all the consonants, it will be 0. So remember that these vowels are some certain numbers and for the consonants, it is always 0. So that's it. Next, I have taken a mask as initial value as 0, which I had taken in my program as well in the earlier example. Uh, max length right now is 0 because that's the best I have seen so far and I also uh, I have also taken an integer array seen which means that when was this mask seen earlier and we have 32 possible states for it as I've already shown initially I feel everything with minus 1 because all the masks I have not seen and mask of 0 is obviously index is minus 1 because I have seen it as I had shown that mask 0 was present at index minus 1 where the string has not begun it exactly next I iterate over the uh, length of the string like for one by one I take each of the characters I mask it against uh, whatever value is there in the hash like if it is an A then then zor it with 1 if it is an E zor it with 2 so I simply calculate my mask value and now if my mask value is not 0 I simply check uh, whether the mask value is not seen as well so if this mask is not seen yet that means I have to update my mask value so I update that this was the position where I had last seen this mask value next I simply check uh, what was the best answer that I can get? What is the best answer? The max length, maximum length that I currently have or what is the answer that I have seen? So that is the answer is basically I minus this index minus whatever what was the first position that I had seen this mask which is already present in this scene of mask value which is only updated when uh, it is minus 1. So only one time we are updating this scene array where if you see a mask we are updating it and we are simply checking when was the last time I had seen this. So I always update my max length and I return it finally. So that was exactly what I had shown in my previous example. What is the time complexity for this and space complexity? So time complexity, it will be simply the length of the string that is O of n because we simply iterate over the length of the string and we simply check, we compute the ZOR and we simply update a scene array and we compute our answer. So it's simply O of n where n is the length of the string. This is the time complexity. Space complexity is 2 to the power m actually where m is the uh, how many vowels we have we, we, here we have 5 vowels so that's why we have 2 to the power 5 32 states and that's why the space comes 2 to the power m if we, if we have more number of characters that you want to have for the count will be even or odd even actually then you need more characters so if you need more number of characters then this, this m will increase and that's the space complexity actually so that was all for this problem so there are two more versions of this problem uh, lead code 1915 and lead code 154 and 2 yeah so these two are uh, simply the same versions of this problem a uh, little bit changed you can also solve these two problems using the same concept and yeah feel free to post any comments or like this video if you have enjoyed it and if you understand this problem if you have not understood a particular part of it let me know in the comments i will try to address them Thanks. Hope you enjoyed. Happy coding. Bye. This entire string contains that. Hindu, share karo. Dabake share karo.